Hi, hi Helena. Hello. Shane. Now, you've had an illustrious career in the field of medicine, but it was a special passion that you had that intrigued me that it basically inspired you to be, to be a vasectomist at one point. So would you like to share with the audience what that special passion was? I'm sure it was primary school embroidery classes. Embroidery. Yeah. Interesting. Did you ever Natural leave any... Natural progression. Nice. Did you ever, ever leave any nice daisy patterns down around there or you know, signature? No, no, I was stuff. a bit conservative. Okay. All right. All right. Yes. Awesome. Well, without further ado, take it away. Thank you. Have you ever noticed that the language of medicine is actually the language of war. We want to fight the infection, kill the virus, defeat the disease and wage war and obesity. We've turned our bodies into a battlefield. Yet brain scans and blood tests show that the language of combat creates physical and psychological distress. I'm not suggesting we abandon modern medicine, just that we change how we speak. The language of war produces the stress hormone cortisol. The language of love releases the healing hormone, oxytocin. Language is our greatest healer. Beautiful, thank you.